Well, good morning to you. I've been running around like a dang dull uh, chicken with my head cut off, okay? Collecting packages. I got packages at FedEx. I got it at the post uh, office at my P.O. box. Had to go get a haircut. Hell, I, I clean up every once in a while. This won't last for long, so you better enjoy it. Uh, we've been trickling in mail stuff, right, to, to my regular videos. And the problem is I got a good handful of stuff, so I figure we'll just make a, a quick, fun opening the mail video. Some of y'all like it this way, some of you don't, but I don't want to throw 20 minutes of mail opening into a regular video, so I'm going to take a gander at what showed up. Let, let's see what the loyal old subscribers sent out to the Puddin's Fab Shop. Now, before we get to talking about mail and opening mail and putting this old Slice Dicer 750 model right there to work, opening packages, uh, let's talk about t-shirts because today should be Thursday. I think I'm gonna post this on Thursday. I'm also closing out our pre-order for t-shirts tonight at midnight, okay? So I'm gonna make it where you probably, yeah, the, the, the t-shirts are gonna be closed out one way or another. I gotta figure out how to do it. So if you guys wanna get your pre-order, we got the travel all design. We've got the sitting on your ass design. Number one seller right here. Apparently y'all like it when I say that. Uh, at the beginning of the videos, I've been adding the hot damn. Here we go with another good one. Uh, if y'all like to have that on a t-shirt, comment down below, let me know. And then we got the classic truck design. And there is a Dotson design on there, but just go to the website. It's www.puddingsfabshop.com. I don't know why I always struggle to remember my own damn name with just a www dot in front of it, but I do. You can pre-order, check out everything, air fresheners, keychains, all the goodies, all right? It's like, it's like merchandise heaven up in there. Let me strategically hang these where you want to buy one by the end of the video. Boy, with that strategic placing of them t-shirts, we'll probably sell a thousand by the end of this video. It is mail time! Yeah! Let's start fresh with what's fresh from the P.O. box. I had to send some stuff out. Oh, looks like we got, we got some summer saving sales going on at the local grocery. Smoked sausage, two for five dollars. They ain't got diddly. Sonic. Maybe the Sonic finally wants to sponsor me. We're from the same town to Mr. Pudding Tapioca. I'll be putting my foot up their ass if they don't sponsor me. Now I think these uh these are from once again, y'all y'all getting very used to this name. It's Mr. Harris Pepper. I, I think he adopted me, okay? I believe after the packages he sent, he sent, I think I'm legally his child now. I don't know. <laughs> he had sent me an email asking if I got something from Sonic. I said I had not. And then here we have two pudding. Trying to pick you something different. Now watch five other people have the same idea. Enjoy from commie hook so we got a gift card that'll buy a lot of foot long chili cheese dogs right there i might have to take the girls for a drink they like them sonic drinks so is this from the same person another gift card this one says two pudding deer pudding i was laughing hysterically when you took the dotson from harris pepper but this one's from commie hook so does harris pepper have an alter ego called commie hook who's a communist or is commie hook someone else i don't know because that's all it says on here so what's the chances two subscribers at the same time thought about sending me a sonic gift card that come but hey we'll take it we like sonic like i said i'll, I'll feed them girls for sure with these and maybe if i get something running that's good enough to make it down the street maybe we'll go get one of them foot long chili cheese dogs again come on so thank you to Mr. Harris and Commie Hook. We got another package from Eugene in New York. He sent us a few things before. Looks like we got some Hot Wheels bandages. They got a little game thing on the front. Ella's gonna think these are cool. She, she likes her band-aids. Come on! Oh, it helps if you undo the latch. 
We are stacked on band-aids, everyone. Now we got we got a couple of couple flavors going on. These can go mobile though. You can just whoop into a glove box of every vehicle you have right there. Dang, we got four of them babies. That's all the band-aids. About 80, 80 worth. That's a lot. We got band-aids on band-aids on band-aids on band-aids on band-aids. If you add up everything I just said, that equals a shit ton of band-aids. That's a measurement. We talked about this. Uh-oh. Is this that? Oh, baby, here we go. Y'all have had me curious like nobody's business over this stuff. Industrial size, 65% more. Aero Croil, is that how you say it? Aero Croil. Y'all have been hyping this stuff up about how awesome it is. We've got a lot of looby dooby, but I'm excited to try this. Someone even, someone said it smells better than Zep. Now if that's true, I'll kiss your mama's butt cheek. We got two cans. I like how I said kiss your mama's butt cheek, like someone would even want you to kiss their mom's butt cheek. <laughs> it's Mortski approved for freeing up stuck starter solenoids and forward ignition switches. Hey, if there's a starter expert in the world out there who's not a starter expert, if that makes sense, his name's Mortski, okay? Mortski Repair. If he's gonna do a wheel it run, first we gotta start with wheel it crank, cause he's gotta get that starter going. And then once he gets that starter going, he realizes it's trying to engage on a stuck engine. <laughs> if it's good enough for Mortsky, it's good enough for pudding. Seriously, I enjoy your videos a lot. Thanks for everything from Keith. How come y'all can't just have normal names like Brown? And this one ain't even complicated. I just, y'all know I struggle with my, with my last names, especially in English and whatnot. B-E-N-O-I-T. Is that hey, the name? I feel like that's wrong. Is that wrong? Is it Benoit? See, I would have never. Chris Benoit, okay, WWE wrestler. Y'all want to smack down? Sorry I struggled with your last name, but I really do appreciate this. I'm excited to try this stuff and see what all the hype is. I'm ready to see what it's all about. Y'all send so much stuff, I had to go get another trash can. That's a real story, it, it, it ain't made up. I'm not being sarcastic here. I ain't never sarcastic. <laughs> now this one, I had to go pick up at a shipping place thing this morning. Lady that won't give it to me. I said, look woman, here's the tracking order. Don't tell me it ain't mine. She finally gave it to me. This also came from Mr. Harris Pepper from the New York. Uh, he done sent me what appears to be a 12,000 pound jump box. That's a good one. Ugh. And by that's a good one, I meant that's a heavy one, because what is this? A G, that's a J, okay, that's clearly a J. A JNC 660, it's a jumping carry. I like it. I bought one of these kind of Harbor Freight versions, and mine didn't last very long. Well, this thing is awesome. Oh, that puppy comes charged. She's ready to jumpstart out the box. Damn. She can't wait to get to work, can't she? And Mr. Pepper's always going out of his way, okay, to be overly generous to the channel. Like I said, I think legally he owns me now. Uh, that sounded weird, didn't it? <laughs> but I can't tell him thank you enough for supporting the channel the way he does. We can definitely use this thing uh, this will this will come in handy around here a lot. God, it's heavy. And when you don't jump start cars, you can just hit some biceps. You know, hit them mean old shock curls. That way, when we get a little flex going, get a little pump action. You gotta do the other side because you don't want to walk around with a big dominant arm. People will make some assumptions about how you got it if you catch what I'm what I'm throwing down right there. I ain't gonna say it, but you know. <laughs> We got another one from Mr. Harris Pepper. Guys, I don't think he's gonna stop, okay? I think I think he enjoys this more than I do, uh, just seeing what all he can send me, because he is, he's relentless at this. 
and maybe trying to kill me with a dust attack. Damn. Got some old trailer house insulation in this baby or something. <laughs> We got a t-shirt. Let me make sure there ain't nothing else in here before I throw out this dust trap. It's easier to read when it's the right side up. I hope you thoroughly enjoy this small memento of your work on that 1964 Ford F100 pickup truck. I hope every time you wear this, it brings a smile of the fun times you had with that truck. Enjoy. Keep up the great work and come up with some new puddinisms. I can't believe I just wrote red. I can read, but I can't talk. Just red puddingism so easy. I figured I would have struggled. What the hell? <laughs> it, it's the same truck. Damn near. It's Lucy right there. It says cool on the front. Hey, that's pretty awesome. I mean, that, that that's pretty pretty close matchup right there, ain't it? She's missing dual CB antennas and probably a... Uh, well, it looks like she may have a seat in it, but other than that, she's damn near spot on. Northern Plains Jerky Outpost. I like where this is headed. Y'all know me. I get excited over some beef jerky. Buffalo Bob's Chipotle Garlic Flavored Cajun Style Jerky Kangaroo. Oh! Beef Buffalo Alligator Kangaroo Alligator Wild Boar Beef and Ostrich Beef Buffalo Venison, beef, elk. We ain't gonna get nothing done after this because I'm gonna be in a damn jerky coma. These things got all the different flavors. Cajun, chipotle, garlic, barbecue, hickory smoke. Dude, this, <laughs> this is awesome. You have no clue how excited I am to eat every single one of these. I like all the flavors. This is also from Eugene in New York, so the package was just probably whoever sells this stuff. And it would be just outright rude if I did not try at least one of these on camera. I'm gonna try the, the alligator, baby. That's my that's my Cajun voice or attempt. We're going with the alli the alligator and beef, Cajun style jerky. Mmm, 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 mmm. Hands down, best best I've ever had. And I'm, I'm not joking around. Hands down, best I've ever had. Oh my tenderness. I ain't ever bitten to a beef stick this damn tender. The perfect spices for a Cajun style? Damn it, Buffalo Bob. You got the alligator one down. I'll tell you that right now. I can't believe this. If you have anyone in your family who loves jerky sticks, you need to shop for them at Buffalo Bob's, all right? I'm telling you right now. Eugene, you nailed it, because these things are just tasty. Tasty as can be, okay? Thank you. Got a call from the O'Reilly's, my manager buddy. Oh, he said, hey, you got some more crap to pick up, buddy. So I went up there, and what do we have? Looks like about Six cans of Jet Spray Carb Choke and Parts Cleaner, Gum Out Edition. We've been in carburetors quite a bit on the channel here lately. We got the O'Reilly's Carb Choke and Cleaner. This one has low VOC. I have no clue what that means. I, I'm just reading the damn. I'm just reading the damn can. Uh, looks like we got six of those, so we're ready to clean some carburetors. And we got 12 cans of starting fluid. We got all the Bill Cosby sauce right here. I don't even think I've ever used more than two or three cans of this stuff in my life. So this will probably last me till retirement right here. <laughs> Any of you guys who work in a shop know that these aerosol cans of brake cleaner, carb cleaner, starting fluids, all luby dube, any of your luby dube, that stuff runs out just as soon as you bust open a can. This is also from Harris Pepper. I know that, he's, he's been calling me in orders at the O'Reilly's. I say orders, this is the second one. Thanks to all the aerosol cans that Harris has sent, if my shop ever catches on fire, heaven forbid, Harris is gonna see the explosion from New York. <laughs> what in the world? 
Enjoy your gift from Dill Group. See, there's a the last name I can read. Mr. Group, thank you for the gift and the simple last name. <laughs> One I can pronounce. Enjoy. I can't read to save my life today. I meant everyone, even though I said enjoy. Everyone sends you stuff for work, including me. I think you could use something to take a break. Enjoy this gift from Dell Group. Thanks, Dell. Man, we're getting loaded. We got beef sticks and kangaroo sticks and alligator sticks and all the Sonic gift cards. And now we got the Pizza Hut gift cards. Next mail call, I walk in here 300 pounds heavier. Just me with an old keg out front. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even care about working anymore. I'm like, when the hell y'all gonna send some more food gift cards? We getting hungry around here. I'm just playing. Look, on that one, I'd been eating Mexican. We actually live pretty damn close to a pizza hut, and there's several times, like, when we have busy evenings, like this evening, where we will grab it last second because the grill's got a million things going on. So these things will definitely get put to use. I appreciate it, Dale. Saying the name Dale will never get old. I love that name. Dale. What the world? Well, I don't know what in kind of funky labels we got going on here. This one's from Harris Pepper. It says Milwaukee and it says something about lights. So let's see. Let's see if we got a new Christmas tree. Milwaukee edition Christmas tree. Holy guacamole. I think this is the light we already got. I think we're gonna be running duels around here. So these lights are awesome. I actually have one of these. I wouldn't use it. So I don't know if Mr. Harris, have you missed the light? Because if you missed the light, you ain't been paying very attention, very close attention to my channel for being such a big fan. Yeah, you're in trouble right now. That's what this is. You're in trouble. Because <laughs> right over here on the little crane that could, we got one of these babies. Now we're running true duels. All right, is it because I gotta move them from underneath the hood to inside the cab and back and forth or, I, I don't know what the play is here. All I know are these suckers are bright and they're super handy. They attach to damn near everything and I love them. Y'all see how bright those damn things are? It's all the bright. Now it's dual all the bright. Y'all can't see deadly, can you? That's another awesome gift. Uh, Two's better than one, I guess they always say. Uh, we can definitely use them, okay? I'm always having to move that light around anyway, so now you got one to be inside whatever you're working on, underneath the hood of whatever you're working on. It's pretty damn awesome, ain't it? <laughs> I think so, so thank you for that. Looks like we're maybe down to five packages. This package is also from my stepdad, Mr. Harris Pepper. <laughs> Dear Pudding, I purchased this shirt before I knew you weren't into baseball. I thought it would be funny if your friend saw you walking into O'Reilly's or Harbor Freight with a Yankee shirt. Check out the back. If not, your wife can wear it as a night shirt. My wife printed these wonderful pictures of me so you can have a laugh. Love your videos, love your humor, and I hope you love my hillbilly pull. <laughs> There's a face to all the gifts. There's Mr. Harris Pepper and his little kid pull that says IPM pulls. <laughs> The other one on, he's flexing, but I, I like the IP and poles just kick back and lounging. That's pretty good. <laughs> you damn right I'll wear that. <laughs> I'll wear that shirt gladly. Got a package here from, looks like, Mr. Jeff Kern. Moto Logic cap. Damn. I don't know if this is going to fit on my big old head. Gee, gee, gee. Might lose a little blood to the temples, but that's all right. Those babies are nice right there. You only need five degrees to move to fasten. These are the 72 teeth edition for tighter turns. Also features off corner loading. Hey, I love ratcheting wrenches. How can you not love those? We got some more Luby Doo PB Blast. Okay, I find myself using the PB Blast all the time. I'm a fan of it for sure. We got some more starting fluid with upper cylinder lubricant. That way we don't uh, we don't dry out the whole engine. You need your lubrication in the situation. Electrical tape, 
I am such a cheapo that I knew I had a roll of this stuff and I've been making do without it and I finally found it in my travel wall. So I did finally find my electrical tape I've been looking for for two months. Nice pack of razor blades right there, which is funny because the blade's so worn out on this. Now I know they're different styles, okay? So get off of me, all right? But this thing's so worn out, like you can't even, can't cut deadly with it. I'm more hacksaw and stuff. These things are super handy. Can never have too many zip ties and we got quite a bit of zip ties right now. And then these things, these things are awesome. Even though I don't replace them as often as I should, I absolutely hate buying these things. These are an item right here that I despise having to go and purchase. Because I know if you cut that cable just right, you can wrap around the battery post, take your locking pliers, and you can create the same thing, but it's just not as classy, you know what I mean? So other than the wrenches, this is a lot of that consumable type stuff that we were just talking about that you just burn right through. So all this stuff will definitely get put to work. The wrenches will definitely get put to work. I appreciate it, Jeff. Thank you. Got a package here from Mr. Jared Britt. This ain't no getter done 91. I know it ain't. All it is is a piece of paper. That's a fire starter, but it ain't no getter done 91. This little thing's got me nervous. Fragile. Oh, it ain't no getter done 91. Look at that arrowhead, that thing is bad ass. Dear Puddin, thanks for the great content. Here's something different. Napped by yours truly, Jared Britt, North Mississippi. Warning, this is not a real artifact. Instagram, Jared Britt. So is this a fake and a phony? You had me all excited. I was about to go uh, whittle me a tree and make me a bow and arrow and attach this baby to it and go kill me a deer. Hey, this thing's pretty awesome. I like arrowheads. I even have one tattooed on me somewhere. Right there. See, a little different style, but still. I like arrowheads. That thing's awesome, man. I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet because I don't want it to get broken, but I'm gonna find a special place for it. Holy roller magnet. That thing's awesome. I've seen them. I've never had one. I do not see a note with this one, so I don't know who it's from. In a matter of seconds, we got us a magnet roller. I bet we can pick stuff up now. I'll be back in a second. We didn't pick up much other than dust because I sweep my shop like you should. Uh, all right, this thing is awesome. A lot of little sheet metal stuff where you start cutting off little corners and slivers and pieces. What a tool for that job right there. Cleaning out the bed of that thing with 9,000 nails in the bed. Just like that, we got her. That thing is sweet. This thing is definitely going to be nice to have right next to the broom and old dustpan. So whoever sent this, I sure do appreciate it. So it's the Puddles Fab Shop Daughter Hot Rod. So we got some Legos, I think, folks. I could be wrong. But El Ray's been on a little Lego kick, okay? Y'all been sending hot rod Legos like crazy and she loves them. Guys, this is awesome. Just to see the support even from my family and daughters. Uh, Ella is gonna freak out over this. She's with mom right now. So after she gets back here in a little bit, we'll give that to her. So they got some running around to do for a little bit. And uh, when we're waiting for her, actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop on my old hog here. I ain't fired her up in a while. And I'm gonna cruise on down to the little local taco truck. I'm gonna go get me some lunch. You got a package from Eduardo Sanchez. Let's see what you got. Get it. Show everyone what you got. What is it? Some more frozen Legos? Are you excited? What all does this one have in it, baby? The horse? Mm -hmm. Rings. Rings, where you can wear them. Oh. Look at all the diamonds and jewels and all the goodness. Look at that snowflake. <laughs> Are you excited? You gonna build it? Yeah? What do you say to the Thank camera? You. Thank you. Very sweet of them, huh? Mm -hmm. 
Me ain't got no shoes on yet. <laughs> Seeing that little face light up will never in a million years get old. Uh, guys, this is awesome. Thank you to everyone who has sent stuff. I can't believe, I thought it was gonna be a big wave and it'd slow down, but I can't believe this is still a part of my YouTube channel, that people send enough stuff that we can just open it, hang out some more, have a good time. I can use a lot of stuff, all this consumable stuff, all the lubes, the, the croil, croil, however you say it, you know what I'm trying to say, uh, the tools, all the stuff that we can use in the shop, but then outside of that, Legos for Ella, uh, you know, the gift cards that y'all send, a lot of that is gonna, you know, go to the girls where they can grab lunch super easy and everything like that. And I just, I appreciate it, man. It, it, it is crazy to think that there's that much support out there it truly means the world to me. I know I tell you guys this every time, but it really does. So thank you to everyone who participates and everyone who just watches and comments and any of that stuff supports the channel. So all you guys kick ass. Uh, T-shirts, when I close this thing out this Thursday evening or Friday morning and whenever I figure out how to do it, it's probably gonna be a good while until you can get a T-shirt again. And when I say that, I mean a month or two before we open it back up because I think we're close to like a, a thousand T-shirts, guys, that I've got to you know, get to people who's paid for them. So I don't wanna overload us, okay? I don't wanna, I don't wanna do it to a point where we can't get those out in a somewhat timely manner. So we're gonna close it out. Your quickest way to get one is to participate and get one of these now, uh, or be okay with waiting a couple months to get you one then. If, if you're cool with that, I'm cool with that. I appreciate it either way. Uh, so now I gotta quit rambling, opening gifts, even though I appreciate it because I gotta get y'all video for next week, all right? Sitting here and opening gifts don't get y'all good video, so that means I gotta get to it. So, uh, yeah, don't forget, sitting on your ass won't finish your project. If you don't believe me, ask that t-shirt, and you can pre-order one of those right now. <laughs> all right, I'm done plugging my merchandise. I'll see y'all Monday, dang it.